Hi, I'm Guy DiMartino. I am a Northwest Indiana estate planning and probate lawyer. And today I'd like to explain, you know, lawyers, our job is to solve problems. Recently had somebody who contacted me and, and this was the problem. The problem was that they were purchasing a house in another state and selling a house in another state and only one of the parties, only one of the spouses wanted to go to the closings and they wanted to know how they could handle the situation. Before I answer the question, let me remind you, if you ever have any questions regarding a Northwest Indiana state planning or probate matter, you can always reach out to me at indianastatemeeting.com. We can set up an appointment. I can answer your questions by phone. I can answer your questions by video, or you can come on in the office and we'll keep a good, safe distance apart. So as lawyers, it's our job to solve problems. And this is how we could solve that person's problem. We can have the one spouse who is not going to be able to go to the closing, give to the other spouse a limited power of attorney, giving the spouse the authority to conduct business. So remember, a power of attorney is a contract between the principal and that would be the spouse who is staying home, and the attorney in fact, that would be the agent, the spouse that would be going to the closing. And the agent or attorney in fact will be able to act or stand in the shoes on behalf of the principal or other spouse in regards to the closings. So this would be a limited power of attorney just under that circumstance. So under our statute here in Indiana, it would have to be a written document. The principal or the spouse that's staying home would have to give the specific authority to the other spouse to act on his or her behalf at the closing and sign all documents relative to the transfer of both pieces of real estate. Now the document will need to be signed and the document will need to be notarized. And the notary will have to, you know, state within the notary uh, area that this person did it under their own free will and they understood what they were doing. And then because it's a limited power of attorney, when that deal is over, the power of attorney will extinguish. However, if you have somebody who is going to act as your attorney, in fact, in a number of real estate deals, then you can just give that person the ability and the power to act on behalf of all of your real estate deals, but it would not give the power to your attorney, in fact, to do anything else. Deal with your health care, deal with your bank accounts, deal with any other things except what you set out in that written document. So that is what we do as lawyers. We help solve people's problems. We help people reach their goals. If you have any questions about a Northwest Indiana state or probate matter, you can always reach out to me. I am Guy DiMartino. Have yourself a great day.